Macon Bibb County Commissioners are considering a resolution that calls for fee increases at Lake Tobosofsky. The increase would impact parking, pavilion, and rental fees. Taylor Hicks spoke with two families about the impact the price increase could have on them and other Central Georgians. That's right. If commissioners pass this resolution, there will be a number of fee changes at Lake Tobosofsky, including Sandy Beach and Claystone Park. Now, I spoke with two families about what impact they think that this will have. We are very thankful for what we have because so many families, as you look up and down this, enjoy it. Walter Howard and his wife say they enjoy the area so much, they practically raised their 14 grandkids on Lake Tobosofsky for the last 20 years. I got a granddaughter out here now. It's my, my youngest granddaughter. She's five, and we're bringing out here. We're raising her just like we did the others. Victoria Perry and her son visited Lake Tobosofsky for the first time. It's like super affordable, and you could literally spend the whole day here. But a resolution introduced to Bibb County commissioners could raise fees for admission. The cost to get into the park would be $3 per person for anyone over six years old. Right now, it costs $350 to rent the enclosed pavilion at Claystone Park, but the price would jump to $800 depending on when you are renting. And the rental fee for the upper open shelter pavilion at Sandy Beach Park would be $225 per day up from $175. Howard says Lake Tobosofsky attracts big crowds because it's inexpensive, but fears that may change with price increases. If you raise the price, you'll get less revenue. You leave it like it is, you'll get more revenue. But Perry says a hike in prices wouldn't keep her away. I mean, it's hit or miss, like with the economy, how it is. Like, I can see how that would definitely deter people from wanting to do it. But at the end of the day, it's summer and you want to get out and have fun. So I don't think it's going to make too much of an impact on things. Again, commissioners have not passed the resolution just yet. They plan to discuss it sometime in the future, but have not set a date. Reporting in Macon, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. Now, if the resolution passes, it won't increase all prices at the lake. The boat launch fee for the recreation areas would remain at $5, and camping fees for waterfront sites will stay at $30 per night. Head to our website, 13WMAZ.com, for more details on the possible price changes.